When targeting Ludrick, it's also really important to set up the right rig. Today we're going to use a running float rig. So we start with a nice little Shimano bait runner on a nice soft rod. Is ideal. Longer rod is normally better when you're fishing for Ludrick. A nice slow taper. That which means nice and soft. Okay, we start with a little bead, followed by a nice little stick float. So we feed him on. To that we add another bead. Now you're probably wondering why the beads are on there. The holes in my float, if I don't put a little bead on there, all my tackle and my swivel on that will go up through the, the bottom eyelet on the float. Now this is a running float, so I can travel up and down along the line. Next thing I do is add a swivel. Now try and keep everything nice and fine, nice and delicate. It's quite important when you're fishing for Ludrick. Especially in the water around here at Foster, it's super clear. Right, once we've got the swivel on, we want some fluorocarbon. Now I'm using the Snyder fluorocarbon, six pound. We can even go down to four pound if the fish are a bit fussy. Our main line is 10 pound, and the six pound is ideal. And I like a trace of about a metre. And that, to that we add a very small hook. Now Ludrick had got a very small mouth, so normally a short shank number eight is just about right for what you need. So once you've got your hook on, we come up around 300 millimetres to our first lead. And what I'll do is I'll add two leads to this to start with and then test my float. Now you can use split shots for this, I'm just using little pieces of sheet lead. I find little bits of sheet lead work really well. So we've got two bits of lead on our trace, our six pound trace, down to a number eight short shank hook. Now the next thing we do is we put a stopper knot on above that first bead you put on. Now the stopper knot is very important. If we don't add a stopper knot, everything will sink to the bottom. So simply tie that to your main line. Now I'm using a uni knot and there we have it. I have a knot on the line that I can actually slide up and down along the line and change my depth. So my float will run up, the bead hits a knot and it stops. Okay, so we just drop him in the water. The stopper knot comes into play against that bead. And I can see that's floating perfect. Just the stem of the float is showing, and that's all you want. I don't need to add any more lead or take any lead off. The time I put the green weed on there, when a Ludrick takes the bait, there'll be no resistance, and that's exactly what you want.